Here comes a mighty warrior. Ore wa ototo no yoni amaku wa nai. Hitori nokorazu, nedayashi ni shite kureru. What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we are finishing the final video of the latest Ichiban Kuji series of Back to the Film with the big one. It's Cooler in his final form and it's a Masterly's figure. Um, this is probably the, the hottest figure in the entire set, the most popular one. He's sold out everywhere. If you go on, on eBay or something, I think he's like $200 or so just to pick up. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. So I think I got a steal on this because I paid around like $90 for him. Um, yeah, and of course, this is not the overseas release. I got this straight from Japan. Um, but before we dive into the video, please uh, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss videos like this. Um, leave a like because it helps this video get found by other people. And of course, it helps um, this video perform a lot better uh, and helps the channel grow, helps me a lot. And uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know which Cooler movie is your favorite. Do you prefer uh, Cooler's Revenge or do you prefer uh, The Return of Cooler or he's uh, Metal Cooler? Um, I love uh, the Revenge, uh, Cooler's Revenge. Uh, I just think it's super simple. It's a little bit of like a rehash retelling of like the Frieza saga in a condensed movie. Um, like Frieza Squad is kind of like Zarbon and, and the Ginyu Force and, and Cooler's, you know, or I'm sorry, I said Frieza Squad, but Cooler Squad. Um, and then Cooler himself is actually, um, you know, a lot like Frieza. He's even voiced by the same actor, I think, in Japanese. But Cooler is a super popular character barely gets any figures. I can't think of one cooler figure other than the Figure Art Zero um, that came out a couple years ago. Um, so this is a welcome surprise. Um, the box itself is pretty big, as you can tell, uh, just having it right next to me. Um, and from what I've seen, this figure is around the same size as like Grandista figures, maybe even like a, a King Cluster. I think he's like 12 inches, maybe bigger. So we'll see. Um, I love it when Master Lee's figures go, all the way and they push them uh, to the max to like 12, 14 inches sometimes, like the Extreme Saiyans. Um, so yeah, let's check this figure out. Um, and uh, as always, we'll look at the box, we'll give some details behind the figure, some size comparisons, and then our final thoughts at the end and a rating out of seven Dragon Balls. Let's go. The first Master Lee's Cooler figure. I think this is also my first Master Lee's extra figure too, as I haven't seen that label on my larger figures or I just haven't noticed it. Cooler is a fan favorite who hardly ever sees representation in the figure world. This one has been hyped as the best in the set. Will he live up to that hype? Let's find out. This figure is based on Cooler in his final form during his fight against Goku in the Cooler's Revenge DBZ film. This is likely based on Cooler when he first transforms and is standing against the waterfall, ready to kill Goku. The only difference between the figure and the reference is his face plate hasn't come up yet at this point. It certainly would be cool to see Cooler without his face plate for a figure, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We were lucky enough to get one like this. Cooler is a fan favorite, with people even asking for him to appear in Dragon Ball Super as a canon character. I'm not sure how that would shake up the canon, but it would definitely be interesting and exciting. Let's see if Bandai hear us for some more Cooler. This figure is made of PVC and ABS. He stands at almost 14 inches tall. 
almost as big as a king cluster. This figure comes in four pieces. His head, body, tail, and support for his foot. He can stand without a support, but I highly recommend using him with it as he can tip over easily. Okay, so this figure definitely lives to the hype. Clearly, he's huge. I'm guessing that Masterly's extra figures are a way for Kuji's to use King Cluster size figures without Broly. I love how he towers above most of my figures. His likeness is perfect. It's not hard to mess up Cooler's face since he has a less humanoid look, but I still give them the brownie points here. The paint application was applied perfectly and the figure was shaded all over. I love the veins that were also put all over him. Unlike Broly, where it was overdone, this one was used seldom, and it makes the figure still look anime accurate and a little more detailed. I also love the purple spots on them. They're not tacky in any way and have a nice, glossy finish. Overall, it's true. This is the best figure in the set. If it wasn't for all the quality control issues in the set, then this would be the best Kuji so far this year. The World Tournament Super Battle still wins in my book but Cooler is one of the best figures I've opened this year. I'm giving this one a strong 7 out of 7 Dragon Balls. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a like and subscribe for more content like this and check my description for where I bought this figure. I also have a Patreon that with just $1 a month, you can support my channel and its weekly content. If you like more figure comparisons, please add my Instagram in the description and send me a message. Till next time, later.